Hi everyone, welcome back to Nine Tail Hobbies. This one's just gonna be a quick review. I know I haven't really done reviews before. If you're like me and you want to use water washable resin or you don't have space for a big cleaning station with some isopropyl, uh, I just wanted to give a quick review on some water washable resins that I've used before and a new one that I am absolutely in love with. The first one is going to be the worst, the last one's going to be the best. The other two in the middle eh, kind of have their ups and downs. But first off, we're going to start with Elegoo Water Washable. Uh, this was the very first one I ever used, and it's okay. As you can see, the detail, I may I have a non-printed one or non-painted version and a painted version. The detail is fine. You know, it holds paint well. It's got decent detail. This is super brittle. This is the reason why everyone doesn't like water washable is because of the reputation of resins like these. As a, you know, happy happy coincidence, uh, this did just drop. Uh, this is the first time uh, one of these has dropped and it hasn't broken. So yeah, on a grade, I would give this a C at best. It's fine. Don't drop it. It's finicky. Actually, I'd probably give this a D now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, the next one was Nova. I really liked this resin, especially since I had come from the Elegoo one, and it holds great detail. This was a super friendly resin to work with. I really liked it for a long time. It still had a brittleness problem. So if you're going to do like display models or anything, if you're not going to play with them, if you're not going to have to worry about dropping them, this is a great resin. I, I, I really recommend it. It's just not super friendly for gameplay because if you're dropping, it, it does break fairly easily. Not, not as easy as the Elegoo. Uh, this one is frozen. You know, I figured Elegoo put it out uh, theirs, frozen put out theirs, and I would give it a shot. It's fine. Uh, it's it is pretty brittle still. And, you know, it holds detail fine. It prints well enough. Not as super friendly as the Nova, or it's not great in any respect but it's not awful either. Like it's, it's just, it's fine. So it is, you know, I have dropped all of these from the same height from my working shelf. You know, this broke, this broke sometimes, and then this broke pretty reliably. Um, so again, meh, eh, like solid, solid B. This, this stuff I would give like a B plus, um, A minus, but this, this resin right here is from a small company, well, at least unknown that I have, have seen, fairly unknown, called Ministry of Resin, and this resin for water washable is unlike any other I have dealt with. It's got a different smell. It smells almost like rubber. Um, as you can see, like all of these, this one's primed, but it's pretty much the same color. This is just darker, and this is their gray. This stuff, I, I dropped it on uh, tile and carpet and all kinds of different things no breakage whatsoever like eat and, and you can get super thin like you I don't think you can see it on camera but you can see through these ears and no problems like it holds detail great uh, it is darker so it's kind of hard to see um, this was a misprint because uh, I had to replace my screen and had to redo my settings um, but if you look, it holds really, 
really nice detail between these two models. Um, you know, this was my display recommendation. You know, you can see a bit of layer lines, but like I said, this was me dialing it in, uh, thus the missing leg. Uh, and this is a robot that I painted. So if you're worried about crispy edges and everything, like the sharpness, and this, this model is from uh, Trader's Galaxy for Bot Wars. I mean, these edges and everything are shoot, super, super sharp. Very nice, very durable. Uh, the only downside to this is it's about $10 more expensive than all these others. So if you're willing to spend to pay 50 bucks for a uh, thousand grams. This is, this is awesome. Oh, the other thing, the reason why this is superior to all of these, and I know if you do a little bit of online hunting, you can find the settings for different resins. Their webpage at Ministry of Resin tells you what settings for your printer to start at. You know, you can tweak them for your personal preferences and everything depending on temperatures and all that stuff, but they give you a starting point. No other company that I have seen does that. Like you have to go on to Atlas's Discord or hunt around on Reddit or whatever to find usable settings. This company gives you something to start with. The only reason why this was a misprint and I had to dial in stuff is because I got an aftermarket screen to replace on my Elegoo Mars. But it gave me a starting point. Like it wasn't a complete failure. Like I just had to lower my lift speed. So that's my review of these water washable resins. Uh, I will stick a link down to Ministry of Resin. This is not sponsored in any way. This is just me wanting to give a recommendation to people that want a alternative and that for that alternative of water washable we now have these amazing this amazing resin that i super duper recommend like this is a display model i'm going to do my first competition with and i have no hesitancy of just dropping this thing and ears blade all these little cloth bits completely fine so Awesome. I will catch you guys on the next one, and thank you so much.